spicing up your Christmas pedicures or Christmas foot rituals. I am going to be a little pedicure Santa today and want to show you two foot bath combinations that we've created so that you can do them over the next few weeks for your clients. For me, I love foot rituals because they're such an amazing chance to show off different visuals, the person's got their eyes open, you can really make it different and really wow people and theme it, make it seasonal, which is exactly what we're gonna do with some jingle bells on. Um, but also for me as a therapist, what I love is the fact that the person and the people you should probably look after most in your salon and spa are the regulars. The ones who love you, who have clearly given you money before and who are willing to carry on giving you money for your amazing services. And what makes this nice is for them, it's something they maybe always have, so they have regular pedis with you or they have that body treatment that's got the foot ritual before and it's changed. So they're paying the same, but it's changed and it's such a nice refresh and view for them. So I am always in love with this idea for your regular clientele. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two different foot rituals. I'm not gonna show you through a whole pedi or the whole stages, it's just like the building and the concept and the stuff that goes with it. We're gonna have, number one is gonna be called our winter spice bath. So they've either got sensible adult names or they've got slightly Christmas cartoony themed names. So this one can either be the spice winter bath, winter spice bath, or it can be your gingerbread man bath. And as would suggest, it's gonna be very spicy themed. Um, and then the second one is going to be the alpine winter bath, the alpine snow bath, or if you want the kind of match to the gingerbread man, then this is your snow white bath. So you've got your kind of adult names and your slightly quirky names, and you can pick depending on what best suits your spa and salon. I'm gonna literally show you through the steps of how to mark it out in terms of the drinks for the clients, what's going to go into the water, the aromas, the decor, the foliage that goes in there, and the theme for it all, so that you can literally copy, borrow, or just be inspired. Like you may, it may just kind of make little jingle bells go off in your head and you can improve it and think of something new. And if you do, please share, because we are all in this together. We're about, we're about trying to make the beauty industry better. We're about trying to make the beauty industry cleaner and use the right ingredients and really make people understand what natural and organic are all about and filling a bowl with real spices and real fruits and real rosemary and real pine is clearly gonna help that game. So help each other, share. Better still, send me photos. I so want to see your client's feet in your Christmas themed bath. First up then, let's have a look at our beautiful spice bath. And I'm gonna deliver mine in my copper bowl. It looks beautiful in copper, it looks beautiful in a dark wood pedicure bowl because it really, really fits the theme. When your client arrives for their spice bath, and remember this is either a pedicure or this is just a foot wash and scrub in front of any other body or facial treatment you want to do, I would have the pedicure already ready, the pedicure bowl water already ready, and into it I've already put a little bit of our spicy reusable petals. I don't like people turning up to naked pedicure bowls, so I've popped a few of these in already. These are reusable. We sell them at pinksbutique.com and you'd scoop them out afterwards and just use, put them in a washing machine, you put them in a little personal washing bag and you can use it again. So the client would arrive, you'd finish off the consultation and clean their feet. So give them a sanitize and get them into the water. Once your clients are in the water, this spice bath, I think, should come with some mulled wine. So if you're giving them an alcoholic drink, then you've got the mulled wine because it also has all the cloves and spices, or you could give them some sort of spicy eggnog drink. Once the client's feet are in the water, start to theatrically add their herb spices. So first of all, I'm going for some of the beautiful star anise.
and then also adding in a few cloves. If you want, you can add in some orange slices, so either fresh orange or at Pink's Boutique we also have dried oranges. We're basically making their feet into a mulled wine. Once they were totally floating in all of their spice bath and having a nice sip on their mulled wine, what I would then do is make them their spiced scrub. So, depending on the brand you'd use, you would choose your scrub. For those of you that use Pink's Boutique, we would take our lemongrass sugar scrub into a bowl, and we're going to mix into it some cinnamon. So this cinnamon is ground. On the tray, we've also got the real cinnamon sticks decorating but we are going to put some of this ground cinnamon into our scrub. And you need to pick, you need to test this and try this because the base aroma of your scrub needs to work beautifully with cinnamon, which lemongrass does. And then you can mix it together with your finger or a spoon. It smells incredible. Christmas spice or the gingerbread bath. We've got our clothes, we've got cinnamon, we've got a star anise, and then we would use this to scrub their feet. If it were a foot ritual, we would scrub their feet, dry them, and move them onto their next treatment. And if it's a pedicure, you can continue with your pedicure. Along with the wine, or the spiced eggnog, snacks that could go with this, you could give your client a gingerbread man, now, this one is a bit giant. <laughs> um, I would get the mini gingerbread men. They just didn't have them. They only had these big ones. Or any sort of spiced biscuit that uses something like cinnamon, clove to add to this spiced zone. And this is your spice warming winter foot bath with your warming cinnamon scrub. From spice, we're off to the mountains. We're off to the crisp white snowy peaks. So let's do our alpine snow or alpine winter bath. And logically, I've picked our beautiful white resin bowl, pedicure bowl to do this in, because let's face it, if there's something white about, it's really gonna help the snow theme. So this one does work really well with the white resin bowls. This then is how the client would arrive to see this amazing alpine winter foot bath, the complete snowy version. We've got the white bowl with the warm hot water in already. I have put in there some of our reusable petals in the jasmine colors because I don't want it to be bare, but I don't want all of these truly exciting bits to go in until their feet are in because it just adds to the theater. In terms of what they're drinking, I've made them a frothy hot chocolate, perfect for this alpine mountains. I've got some little baby marshmallows that could either go into and onto their hot chocky, or they could nibble on. And if you don't fancy marshmallows, it could be anything white. So something like green and blacks, white chocolate, or if you don't like giving sugar, because let's face it, sugar is not good for your skin, then we need something white and healthy. And for the spice foot bath, something spiced and healthy. And if you don't mind the sugar, go with the marshmallows. Okay, so the client arrives. You finish off the consultation, you'll clean their feet, and then you will get them into the water as quickly as you can. Once they are in here, then you start to add the elements. So the first thing I want to do to the water is turn it snowy white. Now, if you use this white foot bath, it's not as much of a problem because it looks white. But if you don't have a white foot bath and you want to turn the milk, sorry, you want to turn the water white, then you need a milk powder. This is literally a milk powder like you would get 
in um, a supermarket. If they're lactose intolerant, then this perhaps is not what you should be doing. And it will turn that water white. Then, additionally to that, what you want to add is your alpine. Now, this is rosemary. And I choose rosemary Although it's not technically a pine tree, it looks like a pine tree, but I've chosen it because when it hits hot water, it just gives that amazing, amazing smell. So they're in a white water with their rosemary. What you would then do with your scrub, so put some of your scrub into a bowl. Again, whatever you're using, you want to make sure you pick a flavor that will go with rosemary and mint. In Pink's Boutique, I would take the wild peppermint scrub. And in this bowl, I've got some spare rosemary and I've also got some mint leaves. And what I'm going to do is literally rip up and tear those mint leaves and rosemary into the scrub. To be honest, you probably need a bigger bowl than I have. And you can either rip this or you can pre-cut some of your rosemary and mint. And then with a spoon, you would mix that together and use that to clean the client's feet. All of the leaves and the little elements will help with the exfoliation. You turn their foot and lower leg into this beautiful alpine snowy look. And meanwhile, they will be supping on their hot chocolate. So you could scrub their feet. If this is a pedicure, do whatever you would normally do in your pedicure routine. And if it's a foot ritual, once the feet are clean and washed and dried, you would move them to the bed to carry on with the treatment. And this would be their snowy, wintry alpine. So the alpine foot bath or the snow white foot bath. Having done spice bath and alpine winter bath, if you would like now and have fallen in love like I did the first ever time I met them, either one of those bowls or any of the others like the wooden bowl or the grey resin bowl that Pink's Petite do, then Black Friday, it is happening. Our Black Friday is from Thursday the 22nd through to the next Tuesday. Everything on the website is 20% off. There could not be a better time to get yourself a new Christmas present a new bowl and all the bits and pieces that go with it the spoons the ladles the little bowls it is all a straight 20 percent off so it is an awesome time for bowls and for all of pink's boutique frankly for all of pink's boutique skincare youtube let me know which one you like best are you a spicy or are you a snow one and let me know if this kind of inspires you to create a new one. I want to know what they are. I would love to see some pictures, some descriptions, or a little video of it in play because I think it would be really awesome to share and to show your incredible Christmas imagination. Um, please make sure that you subscribe. Um, over the next few months, I am going to be putting out more of our actual physical treatment spa content as well as all the education pieces. So if you like this and you want to see more ideas for kind of quirks and really enhancing spa treatments then stay tuned make sure you subscribe so you get all the updates there's two normally two videos coming out a week um and that you share it that you kind of tell other people if you know other people that are therapists massage therapists have salons have spas please head this their way